Today I will be taking up the poem The Rebel by DJ N. Wright. This is the poem DJ N. Wright. The Rebel do you know anyone who always disagrees with you or your friends or likes to do the opposite of what everyone thinks they should do? Think of a word to describe such a person. So what is the word? Definitely it is rebel. Now let us read the poem. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel does not say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. When everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need of rain. When everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of rain. When everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel stays at home and reads a book. When everybody stays at home and reads a book, the rebel goes to the meeting. When everybody says yes please, the rebel says no thank you. When everybody says no thank you, the rebel says yes please. It is very good that we have rebels you may not find it very good to be one. A poem by DJ and Wright. When everybody is studying attentively, the rebel is trying to create disturbance. All are dressed in uniform. The rebel has dressed up soberly. So he always wants to be different. Everyone has a short hair, a rebel has long hair. What is the theme of the poem, The Rebel? The poet beautifully portrays the nature of a rebel and his or her attitude against conformity. The poet has shown or portrayed the sensible and contradictory attitude of the rebel. 
everyone cannot be a rebel he clearly or vividly explains the presence of rebel is needed as he or she has the courage to question a rebel thinks differently from others they are harmless but they want to be different go against the custom and tradition of the society it is good to have rebels because very few people have the power to oppose the decision of the majority they think differently and fearlessly stand with their choices which can be beneficial it is not good to be a rebel oneself because no one will like you so you should always note a point that we should have rebels because they will oppose what is the wrong thing but if we become a rebel what happens everybody will be against us it keeps you apart from the people and they will be like an enemy for you the poet does not discuss the social rebel a contradictory attitude based on self assertion it is a humorous poem it has no bitterness just depicts the eccentric attitude of rebels rebels are different in the society when everybody is doing something they will oppose it and they will do something different so it's very good to have rebels in the society because they have the power to oppose the decision taken by the majority but if you become a rebel no one will like you and you will be alone or you will be kept apart that is the theme of the poem introduction the poem explains about people who always do the opposite of what everyone else does and think and such people are called rebels when everyone has short hair they go opposite with long hair or vice versa similarly when everybody talks they remain silent they disturb they wear fantastic clothes when others wear uniform and do opposite of everything the poem explains other situations such as loving the pets praising nature hobbies etiquettes and manners where rebels are opposite of the world summary the poem rebel describes the character of a rebel an individual who does not comply with the norms of the society he is different he does not follow the rules and regulations set by the society the rebel is described as a person who would have contradicted everything they will oppose just to become different the rebel character in the poem is not based on a political activist but seems to be a character sketch of a young teenager seeking to be different so he is not a political act- activist in the poem he is just a teenager and he wants to be different all the examples or instances in the poem are repeated affirmation of this fact he always wants to behave different he does not want to join the crowd now i'd like to take up the poem and the explanation when everybody has short hair the rebel lets his hair grow when everybody has long hair the rebel cuts his hair short so the rebel is a person who goes against set rules and laws he does not like to become a follower he wants to be different the poet says that when everyone has short hair a rebel would let his 
hair grow long and when everyone has long hair the rebel would cut his hair short so the explanation of the first stanza the person who is a rebel does just opposite when others have short hair he prefers long hair and vice versa vice versa means when everybody has long hair he wants short hair when everybody talks during the lesson the rebel does not say a word when nobody talks during the lesson the rebel creates a disturbance so in the second stanza the poet tells us that when everybody in the class is talking interacting enjoying with each other the rebel would observe pin drop silence he will not speak a word and when everybody is attentively listening to the serious lectures rebel would create lot of disturbance in the class so the rebel always wants to be different explanation of the second stanza when everyone discusses the lesson in the class with full josh enthusiasm the rebel will observe silence and when everybody is serious and listening very attentively in the class he would create disturbance in the class next is anza when everybody wears a uniform the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes when everybody wears fantastic clothes the rebel dresses soberly in the company of dog lovers the rebel expresses a preference for cats in the company of cat lovers the rebel puts in a good word for dogs when everybody is praising the sun the rebel remarks on the need for rain when everybody is greeting the rain the rebel regrets the absence of sun so when everybody is dressed in and best in his uniform the rebel would wear fancy colorful clothes and when everyone is playfully colorfully released and dressed the rebel would dress up very soberly so he does things in a different way and fashion when he is in the company of dog lovers and everybody is saying i love dogs dogs are faithful the rebel would say he loves cats and when everybody is in the company of cat lovers the rebel would start appreciating and expressing his love for dogs when everyone around is praising and appreciating sun oh it's a sunny day today it's a lovely day the rebel would talk the needs and importance of rain he would say oh if it rained how good it would be and everybody is happy with rain the rebel would feel sad that there is no sun so he always does things which people don't do he does things differently explanation a rebel wears colorful dress when others wear uniform when everyone wears colorful dress A rebel wears very sober dress when everyone loves dogs a rebel prefers cat and in the company of cat lovers he talks about dogs when everyone likes sun it should be s u n 
rebel needs rain and when everyone wants rain he expresses sorrow at the absence of sun he would say oh the sun did not rise today it's raining it's boring and when it is raining he prefers to have sun and sunny days and when it is sunny and others are praising he would miss rain so he would always say opposite to what others are saying next stanza when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel stays at home and reads a book when everybody stays at home and reads a book the rebel goes to the meeting when everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you when everybody says no thank you the rebel says yes please it is very good that we have rebels you may not find it very good to be one if everybody is going for a meeting and are present at that time what would rebel do he would sit sit at home and read book and study when all are staying at home he would go out and attend the meeting so rebels they don't agree with what others are doing when everybody agrees to something the rebel would refuse and say no everybody would say yes thank you and rebel would immediately say no thank you when all refuse the rebel would say yes thank you and ask for more so what does the poet say the poet feels that it is very good to have rebels in the society but if you become a rebel yourself everybody will be against you they will oppose you so no one would like to be a rebel himself or herself explanation a rebel is a rebel when everybody is busy in meeting he stays back at home and reads a book and when everybody is feeling free he shows himself very busy when everyone agrees a rebel disagrees and when everyone denies the rebel accepts but despite all these extraordinary qualities or nature it is good to have rebels because they bring new ideas and challenge anything that is not acceptable but it is not good to become a rebel especially you students cadets should never become rebels because it is necessary to be humble if you want to learn something in life because nobody likes rebels so if you want to be a good cadet never become a rebel you have to be humble curious so that you can learn more things what do we learn from the poem rebel the poem rebel describes the character of a rebel a person who does not conform to the norms of the society the rebel is described as a person who contradicts other in order to be different the character of the rebel in the poem is not a political activist but is a sketch of a young teenager adolescent trying to be different all the examples in the poem are repetitive 
affirmations of this fact. If a rebel sees a group of people with short hair, he would let his hair grow long. On seeing others with long hair, the rebel would do the opposite. He would cut his hair short. Seeing everybody talk during the lesson, the rebel would become absolutely silent and mute. On realizing that everybody is silent, the rebel would create disturbance. Similarly, on various such issues, the rebel would be seen contradicting or opposing others. Doing things that no one would be doing. He would refuse to wear a uniform when others are wearing it. Praise the dogs in the company of cat lovers. Appreciate the sun on rainy days and rain on sunny days. He would do just anything but not what others are doing. That is the nature of a rebel. Whatever others are doing, he would do just the opposite of what others are doing.